My name is Ren. My parents never got along with each other, and they always fought each other. Even when I was around, they would always fight about the smallest things. For example, my mom would yell at my dad for leaving a sock on the floor or leaving hair in the dressing room. My dad was a hard-working person, but he was always clumsy and slow at doing anything. So he never got promoted at work, and my mom always got up in his face about it. I didn't really like my mom that much since she was always being so hard on people. In a lot of ways, I was pretty similar to my dad, so when I got up into high school, my mom started targeting me. I can't get a divorce with your stupid father because I quit my job when I had you. And it wasn't just once or twice that she yelled at me. She always told me how she regretted having me, and that always got on my nerves. My dad was treated far worse than me, but he would always keep his head down and apologize. Why don't you fight back? Well, there's a lot of things to like about her, you know? Well, that's a lie. You think I'm lying, don't you? Yeah, what is there to like about that monster? You'll get it soon enough. I hope I never do. She doesn't deserve my affection or respect. When my mom started working part-time, she spent all the money she earned on branded clothes. I gotta treat myself. You always yell at dad to make more money, but you spend your money the way you want to. That's unfair. What did you just say? Ow! My mom eventually stopped helping out with the chores and left everything up to me. I want to eat beef stew for dinner. Also, the clothes I'm going to wear tomorrow are in the washer, so please wash them for me. And I want money. Wait, you do know that you're texting your son, right? This is insane. Are you out of your mind? What did you just say? I am your mother. I can look past your messages about the washer and dinner, but you're asking your son for money? I thought you had a part-time job. Do you know how much money I've spent on you? Well, I'm sorry about that. From when I was a kid, I've never done any extracurricular activities. You even told me to go and earn my own lunch money. I always envied my friends for having the time to have fun, but thanks for everything, Mom. I can tell you're being sarcastic. Uh, no, I'm not. You definitely are. No, I'm not. Stop saying that! Uh, no, I'm not. I said stop! I was just answering your question. I feel like she could have just gotten a divorce if she hated us so much. But apparently she can't live by herself because she doesn't earn enough. Then she should treat my dad with more respect. But recently, my dad was affected by his company's restructuring efforts. Basically, he got fired. And so the time finally came. You useless idiot! If you can't make money, I have no reason to stay with you. I want a divorce. She handed my dad divorce papers, packed her bag, and left the house. God, how many documents do you have to submit? This seems like a waste of paper. And where did she buy that bag? It looks so expensive. I'm so sorry, Ren. This is all my fault. No worries, Dad. We should be glad that she can't leech off of you anymore. No, I just wanted for the three of us to be happy together. Uh, by the way, is she gonna be fine? Does she have money, a place to live? No, oh, well, I mean, she'll be fine, I guess. I think she'll be fine. I was confused, so my father explained to me what he meant by that. Well, to tell you the truth, your mother has a boyfriend. What? So she's cheating on you? Apparently, she's dating her boss. I think I've seen the dude once at a supermarket. He was a handsome man in a well-tailored suit. He looked too, uh, extra for me. So he's the boyfriend, huh? But wait, is that guy single? No, uh, I think he was married. Wait, so they're having a double affair? That's crazy! I hope she isn't doing anything to ruin the lives of his family. But unfortunately, things were already getting out of hand. After my mom left the house, she went to her boyfriend's place and kicked out his wife. She literally took over the place for herself. I thought her boyfriend might stop her, but apparently he told his wife, I don't want a woman who can't give me any sons! Get out! Does he think his wife is some sort of machine that he can use to produce offspring? My mom had me when she was 21, so she was barely still in her 30s. So she always told her boyfriend, I could give you a son. To be honest with you, this whole situation disgusts me. You might be asking, how do I know about all this? Well... Coming! What the? After she got kicked out, the CEO's wife visited our house. Apparently, she had nowhere else to go. She figured out our address by looking at the company records for her husband's workplace. I thought she was gonna sue us or something, but she was too heartbroken to do anything. She kept on mumbling to herself, what am I gonna do? When he saw her like that, my dad started apologizing to her. I'm so sorry about what my wife did to you. 
If you'd like, you can stay here until things calm down. What are you talking about, Dad? Well, this is your mother's fault, so someone's gotta take responsibility for her. But your life was also ruined by this woman's husband. My life was already ruined long before your mother started cheating on me. But uh, are you sure? Of course. And the house will have three people again. So that's how us three ended up living under the same roof. But to my surprise, things were going pretty well. Miss Kanae was the type of person to work very hard for others, and she did everything around the house for my dad and I. She got everything done efficiently. This allowed my dad to focus his energy on finding a new job, which he eventually got. I didn't know coming home to a warm meal felt this good. She's a far better woman than my mom could ever hope to be. My dad seemed to appreciate what Miss Kanae was doing for us as well. But one day... Phew, it's pretty late. I'll take a shower and go to bed. Huh? Whoa, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, uh... I'm so sorry. I thought you'd already finished taking a shower since it's so late. I only saw her body for like half a second, but I noticed something off with it. Um, are you injured or something? Huh? Well, I thought I saw a bruise on your back. But just for a second, though, I didn't see anything else. The room fell silent for a couple of seconds, and so I waited for an answer. Then... My husband, he hit me. He was angry because I couldn't give him a child. What? He was abusing you? Why didn't you run away? I tried, but I never could. My body would tremble and not move every time I tried. Oh, yeah. I've heard about that on TV. Apparently, when you get used to getting abused, you lose the energy to run away. But none of this is her fault. Her husband is to blame for everything. Miss Kanae, we have to get revenge on him. On both of those fools. But, but I can't. But we're gonna get the short end of the stick if we don't do anything about this. I need your help, please. I was about to convince Miss Kanae to cooperate with me. And I told my dad about the plan. My plan about getting revenge on those two idiots that ruined our lives. But while I was preparing to execute my plan... Hey, answer the phone! What is it now, you bastard? Did you miss me? Of course not! I got the bill for my credit card today! You spent $10,000? What did you even use it on? A lot of things. But eventually it started declining. Your card is useless. Are you kidding me? You wanted this divorce, remember? Why are you still using my money? Unfortunately for you, I was still your wife when I used your card to buy everything. You're lying. I have all the receipts, you know. You used my card even after I sent the signed divorce papers to you. Well, I only turned the documents into the city two days ago. I knew you were going to find out about me using your card sooner than later, so... You... you planned for this to happen? Of course! Alright, you have to pay me for everything in full. You have to be kidding me! What do I pay for things that I didn't buy? As a good husband, you should be responsible for paying things your wife buys. You bastard! I'm so glad we had a shared card together. Maybe I should have raised the maximum spending a bit more. You're not gonna get away with this! What are you gonna do to me, huh? You can't do anything. You're gonna be poor anyway, so what does it matter if I spend your money? I am busy trying to make a kid, so bye! What did she say? She doesn't plan on paying for it. That asshole! My husband seemed to be having trouble keeping his business afloat, so maybe they used the card to pay off some loans. My dad went to the card company, but they told him that he was gonna have to pay for everything. So we had no choice but to pay the $10,000. Apparently, this got on my dad's nerves. He started participating more actively in my plan to get revenge on my mom and her boyfriend. I didn't know this, but apparently my dad graduated from a very prestigious university. He even has classmates that became lawyers. I wonder why he's struggling so much. But I knew the answer to that question. My dad was too nice. Or at least I think that's the reason. After learning about my dad's educational history, I decided to forego going to this cram school and asked my dad to help me with school. I made this decision partly because we had just lost $10,000, but I also thought that it would be more efficient if I just asked my dad to help me. That way, I wouldn't have to leave my house. But I'm more of a math guy, so I'm not really good with humanities. Well, I think I can help. Wait, really? Turns out Miss Kanae went to a university that's even better than the one my dad went to. So they became unofficial tutors, and they helped me out with school. When I was in high school, my goal was to get into college. But clearly, that's not what you should be thinking about. You need to have an idea of what you're going to do after college, too. You don't have to be sure of what you're gonna do, but just make sure you think about becoming an independent person. That piece of advice really resonated with me. Alright, but I've never thought of you as a loser. You have always been and will continue to be my biggest role model. You're my hero. Ren, well, I guess I've softened with my age. Here's some coffee.
Thanks. I only started studying at the beginning of my senior year. I wasn't really smart or anything, so I was aiming to get into a semi-decent college that would help me land a well-paying job. But with the help of my tutors, my grades improved drastically. For the first time, getting into the country's top universities seemed like a real possibility. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'll show those two assholes what I'm made of, Dad. And luckily, I was accepted by the most prestigious university in my area. Congratulations, Ren! And we're ready to execute our plan. A few days later, I got a text from her. Congratulations, Ren! I heard you got into Money Robo University! Oh, perfect timing! I was just about to text you. Wait, how do you know about that? <laughs> You should never underestimate me. What the hell do you mean by that? I see you haven't changed. And besides, you need to pay us back before you congratulate us. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, you're as forgetful as a rooster. My bad. Oh shut up. Who are you calling a rooster? I'm sorry, it was rude to compare a rooster to you. A rooster is way smarter than you. Oh stop it. But I guess you need to be witty like that if you're going to become the next CEO. CEO? What are you talking about? You should move in with us. My husband says he'll adopt you. Uh, what the hell? I don't understand. Just hear me out. We're in the middle of expanding our ventures right now, and so the whole process will continue long after my husband retires. So we need someone to take over his role. And why me? You're smart enough to get into Money Robo University. You'll be a good CEO. Oh, so you left me because my grades weren't that good back then. But now that I got into a good university, you want to adopt me? You'd rather be rich like us than poor like your father, right? And I hear he's still letting that childless hag stay with you guys, right? So you're not gonna live up to your words, huh? I'm only adapting to the situation. Well, I already know the answer, but you're coming to us, right? What? Is your brain infested with leeches or something? No, oh, I guess you're a leech yourself. Just like those pests that feed off of garbage. What did you just say? There's no way I'm going, you idiot. Are you serious? We could pay for your tuition, you know. You wouldn't have to worry about anything. You could just focus on your studying. I don't think that would ever happen. Besides, your husband's company is about to go under. What are you talking about? After you left, we three have been working tirelessly. We researched your husband's company thoroughly. Miss Kanae is very smart, unlike you. She never worked at your husband's company. But she worried about how your husband's company was doing after seeing how much of the company's expenses he was spending. So she checked the company's spending reports, budget reports, and the like. And that's when she found the numerous examples of embezzlement by the CEO. You don't have any proof of that. It's her word against ours, right? Oh, but we have the documents right here. What? How do you have those files? When you kicked her out, she took as many pictures of the documents that were in the house at the time as she could. And so, these are pictures from them. She actually forgot entirely about having these photos taken at all. So, we only found out about these pictures just recently. So, we're gonna use these files as evidence in suing you guys for tax evasion. Then, your expansion plans will be ruined. Stop! Why would she do something like that? We've already interviewed a few of your co-workers. You lure people in by promising them high wages, and then you overwork them during their training period. And even after their training ends, you don't even pay them their wages that you promised. You tell them that they're not good enough at their job, don't you? I heard this recruitment method was your idea. The Labor Standards Bureau is gonna have a field day with all this information. Stop! What do you want? Money? I'll give you money. Just leave us alone! I don't want your money. I'm not like you. Besides, that money is gonna disappear sooner or later. What do you mean? I told you. I was just about to text you. But I thought you were going to tell me about you getting into college. Why would I even contact you about that? You don't deserve to receive any good news from me. What I wanted to tell you was, we're ready to file a demand for compensation from you. What are you talking about? Demand compensation? From me? What's your evidence then? Looks like you're still kids straight out of high school. No, oh, I have evidence. What is this? You colluded with your boss, and you treated your co-workers terribly. They knew about your affair, and one of them took a photo of you while you were together, thinking that it could someday be useful. Bad deeds never go unpunished. Oh, by the way. Wait, there's more? I also have evidence of your husband abusing Miss Kanae. The evidence started right after they got married, and she's been haunted by trauma ever since. We're gonna suck every last penny from you guys! Wait a minute, if you do that, how are we supposed to carry on with our lives? I thought you were willing to pay me. How does a uh, $100,000 sound? $100,000? We can't pay that! What? But I thought you guys were expanding your business! Well, that's mainly for marketing purposes. We're collecting investments right now, so we don't have cash at hand. 
I'm just a kid straight out of high school, so I really don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> anyway, I still expect you guys to pay us. All right, bye. Wait, I was wrong. I apologize, so please forgive me. We're family, remember? But you left me. There's no turning back now. All right, I just blocked her. And so we took our findings to the police. The CEO's company was investigated for fraud and tax evasion, and as a result, he was forced to pay over $1 million in fines. Needless to say, his business couldn't stay afloat after that. It didn't take long for it to go bankrupt. But before that happened, we made sure to collect our share of compensation from them. After they lost everything, they moved into a dirty apartment together. But apparently, their neighbors got fed up with them having to hear them fight every single day, so they were kicked out of the apartment as well. I don't know where they are or what they're doing, but they're as tough as a cockroach, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, and by the way, Dad and Miss Kanae got married. It felt a bit strange at first, but my dad seemed to be happy, so I'm glad everything worked out. He's been doing pretty well at his new job, too, and apparently he's going to get promoted soon. I guess you really need a stable private life to be able to perform well at work. I've never even had a girlfriend, so I wouldn't know anything about that. But someday, I hope that I can become as good as a husband and father as my dad. By the way, I still don't know what my dad was talking about when he said that there were a lot of good things to like about mom. Honestly, maybe it's better that I don't know.